In this video, I'll show you how to install a servo to control a turnout and wire up LEDs on a control panel to show which routes are selected. If you haven't seen how I built this control panel yet, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Let's get started. So first up is to add a throw bar to the servo. I put a Z bend into the end of a 0.025 inch piece of music wire. That then gets inserted into the horn of the servo. I 3D printed these brackets on my resin printer. The STL is available from Enskill Dystopia and I'll leave a link to it in the description. The wire gets inserted into the pivot hole and then the servo is glued in using super glue. That's one downside of these brackets, as there is no clip or other way to secure the servo with the built-in screw holes on the servo. But the super glue does hold it well. I've not had any servos detached from the brackets. You could also use 3M pressure sensitive double-sided tape. As the servo lead is too short to reach my control panel, I plugged in a servo extension cable. I bought a bag of assorted lengths so I can find one that just reaches and isn't too long. The tricky part with the servo installs is that all my turnouts are already in place and ballasted, so I'll need to be careful not to damage them. I use a drill bit that just fits through the throw bar hole. Plywood here is quite thin, I think 1 8 of an inch, so the drill bit had no problem poking through. I just had to mark where it is as a hole is so tiny, so I did that with my crow marker. Now with the largest drill bit that fits in my pin vise, I carefully drilled a bigger hole. The tricky part here is not damaging the turnout above, so the hole only went through the plywood. I kept a careful eye on the turnout above. And then with a larger drill bit held in a spare drill bit chuck, I enlarged the hole enough so that the throw bar wire can pivot. I didn't trust myself to use my power drill. I cleaned up the hole a bit from above around the turnout throw bar. And then I stuck the servo in from underneath. It took a few tries to get it through the throw bar hole. Holding the servo in place with my fingers, I threw the turnout via my control panel. After a few adjustments, it seems to work. Only casualty is the yard foreman who needed to be glued back in place next to the yard office, which is a converted caboose. I used some double-sided tape so I could temporarily hold the servo in place. so that I could drive two small screws through the holes in the bracket. I just used the final step above the layout is to cut the wire short just above the throw bar. So behind the control panel, I soldered on a wire to the LED that indicates the position of the servo. And then I checked to see which side of the switch it needs to be connected to so that when the servo is thrown, it lights up the correct route. Nope, not that one, so it must be the other one. That wire was then soldered in place.
Now the switch next to it actually powers the servo that is immediately after the servo I just installed. So the LED lights for those two routes don't need to be on if the servo I installed is set for the other route. I can show you better on a diagram I quickly drew. So when this route is selected, the LEDs here should go dark. When this route is selected, these LEDs will light up depending on which route this switch is set to. So the second switch will get power from the first switch's terminal that isn't connected to the LED I just wired up. I hope that makes sense. And then I had to change the power feed for the first switch so that it always has power and the other switch doesn't. I then attached two wires to the terminals of the second switch off camera. I then plugged the panel back in and tested which lead should go to which LED. While I'm doing this, I'll admit a mistake. I fried my Nano just before this part of the video by shorting out one of the switches with my pliers. So lesson learned, don't do any wiring work without first unplugging the power, even when dealing with low voltages as I am. Once I had confirmed where the wire should go, I unplugged the board and soldered the wires onto the LEDs. And that finishes off the servo installs for this control panel. I'm quite happy that it works well. Now on to building some more control panels for other parts of the layout. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.